Oh, how my soul praises the Lord, how my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he took notice of his lowly servant girl, and from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One is holy, and he has done great things for me. He shows mercy from generation to generation to all who fear him. His mighty arm has done tremendous things. He has scattered the proud and haughty ones. He has brought down princes from their thrones and exalted the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away with empty hands. He has helped his servant Israel and remembered to be merciful, for he made this promise to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children, forever. Here I am finding joy in the time of pandemic. I have learned so much during this pandemic. I have learned so much more about myself and have realized there is so much more to learn. I am becoming more aware of almost everything. I have found so much joy in continuing to be part of a community where I can walk into my church on a Thursday just to sit in solitude and be surrounded by indescribable light. I naively thought that I had some understanding of faith and spirituality. I am humbled by the fact that I may know nothing and find joy in seeing where I go next. Dawn called me an angel and it didn't make sense to me. So we talked about it. I think I understand it better now and realize that whatever your definition of an angel is, we are all angels. I really like that. Pandemic joy has meant new connections and finding some unexpected mentors as I age, not so gracefully some days. They are always there to listen, give advice and make me laugh. And apparently I have become a mentor to other, should be others. Who knew? Yep, pandemic joy. Joy is seeing deer running through a cemetery. It is the feeling I get when I see a prairie storm. Joy is music that pierces my soul. Joy is stepping into a painting to see where I go. Joy is trusting that the world is ultimately good and that I play a small part in contributing to that goodness. Joy is, at 71, being able to make angels in the snow and still be able to get up afterwards on my own. The pandemic has given me renewed hope as we move forward and that we all have a part to play and are responsible for our own joy. That makes me feel good. Merry Christmas, May 2022, be filled with joy. Hello, good morning. So what am I joyful for this Advent season? Um, honestly, I'm joyful for nature and uh, just being able to spend more time outdoors and um, connecting with people in different ways who have been impacted by the pandemic. Um, when I'm outside, I actually get joy from the animals. Um, I feed squirrels a lot and I actually have names for the squirrels that I meet at different parks and stuff like that, mainly Duff and Grove. Um, so those things bring me joy. And I guess lastly, I would say um, I'm joyful for cartwheels. I do cartwheels for joy and and uh, uh, if uh, I work at the farmer's market, so sometimes when I see a customer that needs a little pick-me-up, I give them a cartwheel and I usually get a smile as payment and that brings me joy. Okay, I would say that's it, thank you. Here is a meeting made of hidden joys of lightnings cloistered in a narrow place. From quiet hearts, the sudden flame of praise, and in the womb, the quickening kick of grace. 
Two women on the very edge of things, unnoticed and unknown to men of power. But in their flesh the hidden spirit sings, and in their lives the buds of blessing flower. And Mary stands with all we call too young, Elizabeth with all called past their prime. They sing today for all the great unsung women who turned eternity to time. Favored of heaven, outcast on the earth, prophets who bring the best in us to birth.